What up, Canes fans? Before we get started, just wanted to talk to you guys about the Tank Brewery real quick. The Tank is located in the heart of Miami in Dade County at 5100 Northwest 72nd Avenue. This place is awesome. I've been there. The beer is outstanding. The food is great. Whether you're watching the Canes game, the Heat game there with your buddies, you're having a guys night out, or you're having a date night with the missus. It's a great place to hang out. So you can order online at the tankbrewingtakeout.com or call them at 786-801-1554 for delivery or pickup. And here's the thing. If you use the promo code TANKFORSUP, you will get free delivery on game days. And so that is TANKFORSUP, the number four, not spell it out, but tank 4 up. So... Go check out our friends at the Tank Brewing. They've been great to us, so take it away, Jordan. All right. Also, uh, we we want you guys to check out our guy, Stickers by AB. That's at S-T-I-C-K-E-R-Z by AB. Um, You know, I've been ordering a bunch of stuff from him. Um, You know, we we have a collaboration sticker that that, uh, has our logo on it. Um, So make sure you're checking him out. Uh, give him a follow on Twitter. He's just a good dude, and he's helping us design our merch. So, uh, so yeah, man, it's, it's uh, make make sure you're supporting the good people that that help us out here on Forza. You're listening to the Forza Podcast with your host Marsh. Canes fans, it is Monday, September 28th, and I am still buzzing from the weekend. 52 to 10 ass whooping over those those kids from Tallahassee for the fourth straight year. I could not believe my eyes. I was expecting a closer game, and I could not be happier. Jordan, talk to me. What are we thinking? What are we saying? How are we feeling? Dude, we have a very good football team on our hands. Yeah. Uh, I don't want to get too ahead of myself. Same. Um, in, in projecting what we will look like at the end of the year. But right now, you know, watching all of the college football teams, we are a top five team right now. Well, Kirk Herbstreit just put him in, uh, put us at number four. Very well deserved. I mean, you know, Kirk is, I mean, he's watched us up close two weeks in a row now, so he would know just as good as anybody. And uh, I agree with him. Right now, we are a top five football team, and uh, that doesn't mean anything if we if we take our foot off the gas. But, um, you know, we look great. You know, I, I had been vocal about, you know, demanding a, a better performance, especially from the defense, um, and we've been getting them. Mm-hmm. We've been getting better performances from the defense. I, I'm still worried. Um, I'm still worried just about there's things that we can't change, right? I, th- I think the middle between the the tackles and and uh, the linebackers were still a little soft. We're giving up big running plays up the middle. That will be a thing all season. But as long as we can limit the damage that that does, like I, I think we can be really solid. I mean, he, I hear some of the stats from, from the weekend. Excuse me, I'm like, my energy isn't as high as it probably should be. I'm still a little, uh, as, as we all know, my Miami Heat are going to the NBA Finals, so I celebrated a little uh, into the night yesterday, <laughs> and um, I'm, it's, I'm a little foggy today. So, but trust me, I am very, very happy. I'm very happy. But here are some of those stats. Derek King. Oh my gosh, he was so good. 29 of 40, 267 yards, two touchdowns, no picks once again. He also ran for 65 yards. And here's the thing, Jord, our his stats could have been so much better if our receivers didn't drop five or six passes. Yeah, I I agree. Derek King is playing fantastic football right now. He looks well, actually I don't know if you saw this Marsh. So Bovada um updated their Heisman odds. And uh, Derek King sitting atop the board at plus 300. He has the best odds to win the Heisman Shut right now. Up. I'm dead serious. He's in Are first place. Are we going to have a Heisman Trophy winner? We might. 
I mean, so let me read it off to you. Oh, wait, sorry. It's plus 500. So the updated odds, Derek King at one plus 500, Trevor Lawrence and Justin Fields at plus 600, Kyle Trask and Sam Ellinger at plus 700, KJ Costello at plus 800. Wow. So Derek King's in the driver's seat, man. Yeah. I mean, he, he was just so accurate on Saturday night and right out of the gate. I mean, we scored on the first drive and he was, I, the ball comes out of his hands differently than a lot of quarterbacks. That thing yeah. looks like, cannon. like it's coming out of a gun. It is yeah. unbelievable, but he looked great. Brevin Jordan caught another touchdown. Our boy D Wiggins caught his first touchdown of the year. Gave up zero sacks. Our offensive line gave Love up it. zero sacks. We rushed for 200 yards, and we had 517 yards of total offense. Yeah. 11 of 18 on third down. Yeah, shout out to uh, our guy Zion Nelson, man. He yeah. uh, you know, played the, played the game at left tackle and, and did a really great job. He I'm pumped really for him. He did, man. Like, it's... And our and shout out to to our defense. I mean, I know that yeah. the for, for, on the first drive, FSU was moving the ball really, uh, really well. And I sent out a tweet that Manny Diaz needs to start calling the defense again. And boy, did I get a lot of shit for that because we only gave <laughs> up ten points. Um, and after the um, you know, it, after that first drive for FSU, they they could not do a single thing. It was yeah. pure domination Jalen Phillips Nesta Silvera Bubba yeah. Bolden oh my gosh we and it we're so we are we are actually good right now like we the are good we're actually a good football team Bubba Bolden Jalen Phillips and Al Blades all got interceptions I'm just I I, I just don't know like what else t- that I can expand on because we've already talked about it you know the last two days we've been celebrating uh, we have a bye week this week before we head up and play Dabo Sweeney and the Tigers. Yep. But I, do you have anything else to say before we get some of these guys on the show? Um, I don't know. Do you, well, there's there's a lot to say. I'm just I'm so pumped because I I fully believe in Manny right now. I just 100 percent. I I just think he's the guy, and and the biggest reason why is because. He makes mistakes. That's fine. Everyone does. But he learns from them, and he doesn't make them a second time. And what we're seeing right now is is him correcting his mistakes from last year, and it's paying off big. And he's still recruiting like a madman, and this success is just going to blow it up even more. Yeah. So, it's... I mean, dude, we could land four five-star recruits from South Florida this year. And can you imagine, like, I... It's crazy, man. But I I will say this. We got to put our nuts on the table and give <laughs> Rhett Lashley a record-breaking deal to yeah. stay here as offensive coordinator. He's not going to be yeah. here next year. I, I promise, like, he's going to get job offers. He just will. He, it is. I knew that the offense would improve with Rhett Lashley, but in no – I don't think even I predicted – the kind of start that we're having on offense, 31 points against UAB. You know, there's a little uh, skepticism after that, you know, granted, and then 47 and Oh shit. My ESPN app just started playing something, but 47 (laughs) and 52 points after that, that is, I I think combined that is more than we scored all last year. (laughs) It's it really might be actually, I don't know. I'm so, I'm just like, I I can't even scream. I'm just so content and so happy. Yeah. And, you know, Ro brought this up last last week, uh, the pod that you missed that I did with Duck and we had Ro on here. We were talking about why Miami faded into mediocrity. And uh, Ro just said, like, we stopped being innovated. We stopped pushing the envelope. You know, we stopped like we got content and we got comfortable. And we cannot do that after this year. Like, we need to recognize what is working, and that is Rhett Lashley. And, dude, we just – we have to do everything we can. And I don't want to hear anyone say, oh, we can't afford him because 
Dude, I I've seen what university budgets look like, and it's in the hundreds of millions. So we we can afford one extra, you know, for an offensive coordinator. Like we have the money. It just depends on if our board of trustees and if our athletic department is going to be a bunch of pussies and let us become <laughs> mediocre again, or if they are going to put their nuts on the table and just like keep this football program good. Because let's be honest, without the football program, the University of Miami means nothing to anybody. And so why would we let it become mediocre again? This There is more excitement surrounding this program right now, honestly, in my opinion, than there was three years ago when we beat Notre Dame and we were 10-0. and Just because, I mean, even then we were – Still, our offense was still struggling. I mean, there were still a lot of question marks. Malik yep. Rozier was our quarterback, but that was a fun year. But it was shaky. We were barely yeah. winning those games. Exactly. That's why it's different, man. Like, and now we, we're blowing the hell out of people, dude. We're kicking teams' asses for the first time in a very, very long time. I mean, that yep. 2017 team, we still had to squeeze by Toledo. We still had to survive against a one and seven UNC team. Yep. We just beat FSU. Who, granted, they suck. They yeah. are not a good football team. But we beat them 52 to 10, and we could have scored more. Yeah. Yeah, dude. Uh, we we are a good football team. We got some talented guys, and, and you know, we just got to keep the train rolling. And, and that's kind of my point. Um, there is, I mean, last time I checked, Mario Cristobal only makes $2.6 at Oregon. And uh, that would be the record. Like, I think it was Dave Aranda held the record for two point, you know, for a coordinator at mm-hmm. two point five million. And dude, I mean, if you're Rhett Lashley and we come back to you and we're like, Lashley, we're going to pay you as much as Mario Cristobal is making as the head coach of Oregon, and we need you to stay here and run this offense, and we'll give you autonomy, we'll give you anything you want, and we understand that when a big school comes and wants to make you head coach, that's fine. But we just want to keep you here until you get that Auburn job mm-hmm. or we want to keep you here until, you know, Tennessee comes calling or Florida or, you know, whoever it is like <sighs> we won't be able to stop him from those jobs. But we we sure as hell need to stop him from taking any other job. Yeah. Well, and also, I mean, we, why would we want to stop him from taking those bigger jobs? I mean, that's what yeah. that's what you want for your coach. You want, you know, these coordinators yeah. to you know, become successful head coaches. And that would be, he's going to get it. Like Lashley is going to yeah. get those bigger offers. It's just whether, is it going to happen at the end of this year or will it, you know, take another yeah. season? And yeah. if he's here for one more year, praise God. If we need to do whatever it takes, man. Yeah. Like, like we need to make it so that when the, uh, like, let's say the SMU job comes open or something or Memphis or something like that. We need to make it so when those jobs come up, they're like, oh, we can't afford Rhett Lashley. We can't we can't afford what the Hurricanes are paying him to be a coordinator right now. Mm-hmm. So, <sighs> yeah, who knows, it's man? Good stuff, man. It's good stuff. But today is the reaction show, my favorite show of the week, honestly, now. Um, so we got four people coming on today. So yep. let's what do you say? Let's get it going. OK, let me call him in right now. What is up, fellas? What's up, baby? What's going baby? on? How you doing, brother? How you feeling? I'm feeling great, man. How about how about South Florida sports right now? I know we're not fans of all the same teams, but gee. I am. Uh, I mean, I, I was telling Jordan and, and I I was talking to him, you know, when the show started because of the Canes and the heat. I am. Uh, I'm feeling a little foggy this morning. <laughs> it, it was a it was a rough it was a rough weekend, but damn it, it was worth it. Damn right it was. I don't so know what we did to deserve it, but... Absolutely, absolutely. Okay, so starting off, why don't you tell the people what you are working on, tell them about your website and the little collab we got going on. Yeah, so I mean, Stickers by AB, um, the idea was actually given to me by my business partner, Jason Hudgens, from um, the Stadium Drive podcast. So we decided to partner up and uh, we're trying to make, you know, quality, unique um, Miami inspired stickers. Um, We got a bunch of designs out right now, Um, but 
the main thing for us is is to really try to get a, a good following. Start with you know our Canes community, and, and try to really establish the brand. So I mean, follow us on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook. Um, trust me, show us some love, and we'll make it worth your while. <laughs>